Hey guys, it's Tony with Backwoods Biker Magazine and Wood Tramp Outdoors. It's the month of December. Christmas is just a couple weeks away. I've got the new battle box for December in here, mission number 94. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, like I said, it's December uh, and Christmas is right around the corner. What a great time to jump in on some BattleBox stuff, some swag or whatever. Go out to their website, BattleBox.com, and you can buy gifts for yourself and for other people too. So, let's talk about what we got right here in mission number 94 for December. Uh, first of all, a little house cleaning again. There are four different tiers. There's the basic box, which comes in at $34.99. There is the advanced box, which is $64.99. Then the pro box at $119.99. And of course, the Coupe de Gras, the knife of the month, or the pro plus box is $169.99. And as you will see here, every tier always has more bang for the buck that you happen to spend for it. So let's get right into this um, and we'll start with the first item. This is called the POD LED Safety Flare. Um, I've had people ask me before about this and I could not really tell them uh, what this was all about. Uh, the current 1776 on his reveal for this mission did a great job of this. I mean he had several of these but what these are is a, a, an electronic LED uh, signaling device, like a flare, to put in your vehicle, um, put out by the roadside if you have to change a tire or if you're in distress. Um, or you can take them to, to your campsite if you want to because it also serves as a, as a lantern. Although, you know, there are better options for that. Um, but it is a great ad for this box. Um, and that was... You know, one of the things that uh, I and my staff were talking about here is that, you know, one of the things about BattleBox, they just don't focus on one particular demographic um, or one particular niche like, you know, camping. You know, I guess this could be kind of a hybrid item, but really this is, this is an emergency item for uh, a vehicle of many, many sorts. So, yeah. You know, uh, I did hear Curran say that um, uh, this would be a, a box that might be more of a preparedness type of box, which, okay, uh, it's not a bad idea, especially right now in this area of the country where we're at. Uh, today it was uh, a balmy, steamy 34 degrees. Um, not too bad for this area this time of the year, but soon we're going to hit those single digits below zero with snow, sleet, rain, freezing, black ice, all that stuff that could put you off in the ditch. Now you really want to be thinking about what is going to be in your vehicle for when that happens. Bingo! This is one item that I would highly recommend. They give this a price of $8.99 um, and we checked it in a couple places and that's about where it should be. Uh, we're going to just call it $9 though to just make it easy to uh, do the addition here. Now the next um, item here is from Pell Blue. It's called the AAA Battery USB-C Rechargeable Smart Batteries 4-Pack. That's this guy right here. Uh, and, you know, I, I got to tell you, at one, one point in my career, you know, uh, when people were talking to me about this type of stuff, I was just like, eh, you know, who's going to take devices out into the woods? Well, Everybody does now, including this guy right here. And one of the things, one of the bane of the devices that we all take out is they run out of battery. Um, and this happens to be a very, very efficient battery recharging system. Uh, you get four AAA batteries in here. And what would AAA batteries go? I mean, there's, there's a ton of stuff um, that we use. We use headlamps that, that use these. We've got different radios that use uh, AAAs, um, timing devices. Uh, when I say radios, I'm not only talking about two ways, but I'm also talking about weather radios. The list goes on and on and on. You've got a bunch of stuff, flashlights, everything. 
Uh, and when you have the opportunity to have yourselves a premium set of batteries that are rechargeable, uh, you are well ahead of the game. It says these are designed for performance, convenience, and reliability, and they'll help you reduce waste, save money, and save time. Um, it's got this four-way splitter in it that you can put your USB in, in any USB, um, whether it is a wall wart in your car, a cigarette lighter, uh, or a lot of uh, devices now. Some of our lanterns, our electronic LED lanterns, have LED ports in them that you can plug this in and you can charge your batteries. This is really nice. comes in a handy case. They give this a price of $29.99, and again, this is right in line with what we found. We're going to call that $30 uh, for that one. And then the last item in here, uh, i got to tell you, this is uh, pretty crazy. I'm going to get that box. I knocked the box off here, so I'm just going to step over here and get this box. And this is an item that a lot of people have often asked us about to give us our opinion on this and this is the UCO candle lantern these have been around for quite a while um, and a lot of people use these um, they're great uh, especially you know I like them under a tarp something like that you can use them in um, a enclosed shelter you know like a, a tent one man two man tent something like that but this is how they come, it's like this, they come in this box obviously, and all you do is you pull this up and you have got your, your lantern there. You know, it, it, it pulls right up here to where you can actually light it. This comes down, oops, come on. This comes down, right like that. You light your candle. Obviously I've never lit this one. And then once you have it lit, then all you do is pull that back up again and you have a hurricane uh, light right there and it throws off about I think it's let me see it says 20 lumens so it's, it's pretty soft uh, and a candle like this is about nine hours uh, and this can go in anybody's backpack it's good for um, you know overnighters it's it's good for long term if you're doing primitive camping or even if you're not they're, they're great little items but one of the things that that people don't realize about these is that they do because of the way that they're designed they throw off some heat this one says 1900 BTUs using this particular uh, candle uh, and I've seen people demonstrate these but I'm gonna tell you right now you have got to be careful when you're using one of these in an enclosed shelter uh, because almost everybody these days that has an enclosed shelter has one that's made out of sill nylon or some other material like that where an open flame can burn you down in a half a heartbeat. And uh, I seen an individual uh, that was doing a demonstration and he put it too close to his shelter and people were warning him and next thing you know, boom, it bursted into flames in a matter of seconds. He had a pile of ashes there. So you got to be careful. Now, one of the things that, that I will tell you about here, um, and I teach this, that in a survival situation, <clears throat> this would be like, you know, top of the line piece of gear for that. Um, you know, because a little tiny tea candle underneath a poncho, uh, you know, sitting down somewhere up against a tree, up against a rock face or whatever, with your poncho enclosed, and you have that tea candle between your legs, it will generate enough heat to help you to survive in very cold conditions. Something like this that's enclosed that will throw out 1900 BTUs in that situation, you're good. Now one of the things that I want to make mention of, now they don't tell you what this candle is made out of. I don't think it's beeswax. It could be paraffin. I don't know. The paraffin candles give off um, you know some haps so I tell everybody when you buy a UCO um, candle lantern go ahead and flip for some pure beeswax candles that they make uh, these do not give off any bad mojo uh, another place that I recommend these is have them in your e-bag in your vehicles in the winter time because again you know it's enclosed you can hang it up off your mirror um, you can actually set it on the floor because the bottom of this does not get hot. And because you're using 
beeswax candles, it's not going to give off those funky fumes that are going to make you sick. Now these don't come with this. I just brought this along for the ride to be able to show them to you for this demonstration. But what a great ad. That is a great ad. I really appreciate that. They give this a value of $29.99. You can sometimes get them for like $24, maybe even $21 when they're on sale, you know. Uh, but generally speaking, this is in the wheelhouse. So we spent $34.99 to get in on this particular uh, box. You've got these three items, and together they come up to $69. You know, you, you more than uh, double your money almost, you know. You're right there. So now let's move on to the advanced box. And this is, this is one that uh, got a little bit of, you know, some, some negative press. You know, people were, were griping a little bit. You know, why would they put something like that in the box? You really can't, you know, not everybody's going to be able to use this. You know, I don't know about that. But this happens to be one of those preparedness items that you would leave in a vehicle. This is not something that you would put in your backpack. But this is a very heavy duty step that fits on the uh, retainer hook on the inside of your door frame, either back door, front door, and it'll fit most vehicles. And it gives you that auxiliary step to be able to step up over the top of your car if you're using straps, if you've got a carriage up there that you need to pack, or whatever you might be doing. Uh, I was hoping I could figure it out some way to be able to use it with a pickup truck that has, you know, four doors. Uh, it doesn't work very well for that because you're still reaching way over there. So listen, man, if uh, Right Line can come up with something, that's who this is made by. It's called the Moki Doorstep, and it's made by Right Line Gear. And, and really, the, the big advertisement here is easy access to a vehicle's roof. And again, that'd be something that I would say is in the, the, the prep area right there. They give this a value of $49.95. We will call it $50. Bucks. Uh, and it's heavy. That was one of the things that concerned us when we first saw it until it got here. Man, this thing is, is rock solid. So we appreciate that. And together, the basic box, the advanced box, now comes to $119, and you only paid $64.99 for that. So you're, you're almost doubling your money again. We're just going to stick this off to the side rock jump, get it up out of the way. I don't have no mystery spot, okay? I'm the mystery spot, right? I'm the most mysterious thing around here. Now we're going to go to the Pro Box, and the Pro Box is really one of those where we would say, yep. Yeah, this is more of a prep thing than, than anything else. Uh, and this will be, uh, there's three items in this particular uh, box. And again, the Pro Box comes in at $119.99 and you get everything from the Advanced Box and the Basic Box as well. And there's three items in here. The first one is the Rhino. And I think all these are from Rhino, right? Yeah, they're all three from Rhino. Uh, and this is one that... You know, I I doubt very much that this will go in my, my glove compartment because it's kind of big. But it is a professional, heavy-duty tire gauge that can keep you right as rain in regards to your tire pressure. Now, uh, i, I got to tell you, for a motorcyclist, tire pressure is paramount. It's very, very important. Uh, a lot of guys have been down on their side because they didn't keep their tire pressure right or they you know, had a blowout, you know, puncture, uh, whatever, you know. But this is help you to maintain. Uh, it's got a little button on here that you can actually let the air pressure out. If you are in a muddy area, a sandy area, someplace that you need a little bit more tread to, to hit the ground, that's what that is all about. comes in this nice little bizag right here. And got all kinds of little stickers here if you want to start representing for uh, Rhino out of Murrieta, California. Uh, but that is a good good prep item. But again, you know, you might you might put it in the bag and put it in your truck or in your glove compartment. But I'm this to me is a shop item because I I make sure that that all of our vehicles are checked. The tire pressures are checked throughout the year, uh, at least at the spring and when winter begins to hit. That's a very important one, okay? They give this a value 
Mm, they don't give this a value by itself. They do them all together because we got another one here. And this one, check it out. This one got all of us two-wheelers a little bit excited. Okay, This is called the Heavy Duty Ratchet Tie-Down Strap, but it says right on here. Hear what I'm saying? Motorcycle Tie-Down Set. And anybody that rides will tell you that these are absolutely critical if you're going to be moving your motorcycle around in a truck or on a trailer you got to have good straps you don't use junk these are good i tell you how i know because i already have a couple sets of these these are very awesome and they also come in a bag uh, and i could take you right out to the shop and i could show you where all of our ratchet straps are at because we got them for different reasons uh, but these are very, very heavy duty. I wanted to tell you how wide they are. Uh, maybe it will say it on the box here. Let's see here. They are 1.5 inches by 8 feet. Uh, and uh, again, they are super, super heavy. Look at this. Um, working load is 1,109 pounds, so that, that's, that's a half a ton. Break, maximum brake strength is 3,320 pounds. Eight, so that's a ton and a half of actual force uh, that you can put on those. Those are very, very heavy. They're nice straps. Uh, and, you know, for those of you that were asking me why, the, why is the box so heavy, well, you got one of these here. And then, just to put a little extra mojo in this dude, they give you another set of heavy-duty ratchet tie-downs. Uh, this is 1.6 inches by 8 inches, or 8 feet rather, and they give you some soft loops, which is important, 1.6 inches by 17 inches, uh, and again, they are made up of the same thing, same way, except these jokers, you see that big ratchet on there, yep, and we got some old stickers up in here, man, we can stick them on everything, we'll be representing for the rhino. You've got a bag in here to carry all your stuff. These are the uh, soft loop straps. Um, you know, you, you have got yourself two sets of straps here. One of them is a heavy duty ratcheting style uh, strap. And they give the tire pressure gauge, the motorcycle straps. And we'll just, you know, I, to me, this is an industrial truck strap is what it is that will hold down anything that you throw at it. Uh, and they give this a value of $79.70. We're going to call it $80. Bucks. So that throws our value for all these boxes to $199. And remember, you only paid $119.99 for those. That's a great ad right there. And again, it does fall within the prep thing. So we're going to move on over here to the Pro Plus box. Uh, and there's a knife in here uh, that I like. And while I'm opening up this box, we, we have gotten a lot of emails or comments from people that aren't even BattleBox members, you know. They hear the word Civivi and, you know, they say, oh, that's, a, that's a, a knife that's made in China. Okay, you know, uh, what's made in China now is not the same the way it was made 50 years ago. China has really upped their ability, their technology, their tooling, everything that they do, they're designing. And Civivi is a company that truly epitomizes uh, what China has done, some of these manufacturers have done. Now, for those of you who don't, don't know, Civivi is the, for lack of a better term, the budget side of We Knives, W-E. Go on the, on, the, on the web and search We Knives. Uh, we've got a couple here. As a matter of fact, I think that, yes, and, and a few years ago, we had a Wii knife in the battle box. Man, it was sweet. I think it's got a red, red scales on it. Beautiful gentleman style knife. This is a knife that is a working man's knife. This is called the Civivi, or Civivi, brazen flipper and thumb stud knife. Now check this out. You see how fast that comes out, and I'm not forcing it? That is because it has a ceramic ball bearing in it that will never wear out, and it just comes out super smooth. It goes back in super smooth. 
Now let me read you a little bit about this, okay? Um, the brazen feature is a flat grind. It means it's going to be easy to um, sharpen back up. Uh, hand rubbed Damascus blade at a hardness of 58 to 60 HRC. And uh, that was one of the things that we got. You know, are you sure that that is a true Damascus? You know, from what we can see, it, it truly looks like it. It has the feel of Damascus uh, to it. So, you know, we're going to go with, with what this says. It says it is a Damascus steel knife, not a faux Damascus, not just a print Damascus, because you can see those pretty clearly. So this is Damascus steel. Uh, it has micarta scales, and they are really nice micarta scales. These are, are, are wonderful. I love this knife. This knife's going to end up in my pocket, I promise you. Um, it has G10 backspacer and stainless steel liners. Uh, Tip-up ambidextrous clip made of stainless steel. The pivot is a caged ceramic ball, I told you that. Uh, and everything about this thing is rock solid, it's heavy, and I believe this would be a great everyday carry knife. Um that I wouldn't mind having in my pocket throughout the day. Uh, would it be a bush knife? If I'm asking you, or if I'm telling you, and you're asking me, I would have to say this is not the type of knife that I would be carrying out in the bush all the time because I beat the crap out of my knives, even my, my pocket knives. This, this guy here, this is the second CRKT um, MG2104G that I've had. Actually, it's the third. Uh, and... Um, I've got one on standby, and the reason is, is the size of the blade. It's heavy. I beat it with a baton. I wouldn't want to abuse this old girl like that. I wouldn't want to do that with this knife, you know. But for everything else, this is a beautiful knife, especially when you consider the price. They give this the price of $89.99. We're going to call it $90. So when you add the basic, the advanced, the pro, and the pro plus box together, it comes to $289 worth of merchandise, and you only paid $169.99. That's why I said BattleBox has always impressed us with their bang for the buck, the value for the money. You, you just can't, can't beat them anywhere. You know? So it comes in this little tiny, tiny uh, uh, zippered bag. You get a sticker in here for Civivi. It's kind of cool. It looks like a knife, a couple of them. And then you get a microfiber cloth to clean your stuff up. You know, this is this is a great knife. You know, I really like it. I do like it when we get bushcraft, survival style knives, sometimes some tactical knives. But everyone needs a knife like this, you know, for a night out on town or just, you know, going out, working in your yard, your garage or whatever. I think this is a great one. And this month's value here, $289, and all you paid $169.99. Great for your money. A um, couple other things that I want to make mention of before I get out of here is, you know, I hope everybody's reading the mission statement. You know, a lot goes in here, but there's so much information in here uh, that you can uh, hang on to. On this back page, you know, they talk about the Carnivore Club, and we've never received anything from the Carnivore Club. I don't even know who they are. They might be a sister company. I don't know. Hey, if you're listening to me, John, you got to hook a brother up. And let me be able to talk about this for you. Southern Survival Outdoor Gear tested. We have seen some Southern Survival gear um, this past year or two. Uh, if you haven't seen the Netflix special, get out and check out that series. Them guys are a hoot to watch. Really having fun, and we enjoyed watching them. But at the bottom of this page, like down right here, here's something that I want to hip you to because right now it's Christmas. If you've got a little lad in your home or a nephew or a grandson, uh, even a neighbor that you want to you know, be a blessing to, Wanlo has been designed to get kids interested in the outdoors. Uh, this is what it says. Wanlo is an outdoor adventure box for kids that blends games, crafts, and activities into educational fun. Learn about astronomy, plants, animals, and more. And if when you're using this particular... Mission card, you get a 20% off discount. Um, I have not personally seen the Wanlo box, but Battle Battle Box uh, and us together, we we purchased one of these boxes and we gave it away as a gift to help bridge a young man from 
being in the house all the time to getting him out in the woods and outdoors just playing around. Him and his dad have really enjoyed doing this and now I believe they are Battle Box members getting it every month. So that's the mission card that I was wanting to talk to you about before I get out of here. We got two other discount cards and don't don't just throw this stuff away. This is money that goes in on your value. You have to count this toward your value, but only if you use it. The first one comes from Civivi. Um, it gets 25% off of any regular priced items. Go out on their website, check it out, and you can get you another blade for 25% off. And then the other thing, it comes from the company that showed us the batteries, Pale Blue. Um, charge for life guaranteed. Um, let me see, where's the value amount? Let me see. Oh! Use this code for 30% off your next purchase at PellBlueEarth.com. 30%. That's pretty good. Now, because of the fact that we burn through batteries uh, all the time, we will be taking advantage of this, you know, so hopefully we can get a whole handful of stuff. So we appreciate it and hope that this has been, uh, you know, informative for you. If you're on the fence about BattleBox, you know, uh, if you want to start low and see what type of merchandise you'd get, you know, that's that's the way to go. And I think that you will, I'm confident that you'll find that they are a great value for the money that you spend. So thanks a lot for watching. We appreciate your support all the time and all that you do for us and for all the kind comments that you make. And even when you've got something negative to say, I, I'm, I'm wanting to learn, you know, what we can do to be better at we do for you. So until next time, you guys ride free, you live free, and as always, you be safe out there. And hey, by the way, if you you don't subscribe to this channel, do so, especially right now, and we will put you in this month's uh, gift giveaway. We give out gear every month to people that become subscribers, and you're in there forever. You know, so <clears throat> go ahead and do that, and hopefully we'll get you a gift out there for Christmas. Take care.